Fritzy had been talking to Baseball Players Association. See if we could get Michael Weiner on. He's uh, the man who heads it up, the executive uh, vice president. Wanted to have him on and find out what he thought of the punishment handed out by the commissioner. Michael, kind enough to join us. Uh, let me start with uh, the commissioner and the treatment of Alex Rodriguez, Michael. Uh, what do you think about the commissioner's ruling? Well, uh, on the one hand, um, he could have been much more unfair than he was um, by passing out one that lasted for a year and the 50 days. Um, on the other hand, you know, what he did, frankly, we feel was um, inappropriate um, and almost ridiculous. Um, you know, when you look at the penalties that have been meted out, um in cases that have been decided uh, by the commissioner's office, along with the Players Association, nothing comes close to 211. Uh, have you talked to the commissioner? Um, I have not. What would you say to him? Um, look, he's entitled to do what he wants to do. Um, you know, I would probably see if there is a way that he could work this out. Um, both sides tried to work it out um, uh, unsuccessfully. Um, and I, I think it's best for baseball to work this out. If we can't, he'll go to hearing. And having the case go to hearing well, um, isn't the end of the world. Um, but I'll probably talk with them about trying to work it out. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand, you know, where we are with all of this, Michael, because I thought the the worst enemy with the whole drug culture was the Players Association itself, because now you got guys who are standing up and they're angry when they should have been angry a long time ago, because this didn't happen overnight. Um, I I and I'm, I want to push for two strikes. You're out. You get popped first time. It's 100 games. After that, you're done. Why, why do we keep enabling these players? Because in any other walk of life, Michael, you don't get this many chances. Look, um, there's an argument for that kind of penalty structure. Um, there's an argument for um, an even greater penalty structure. There's an argument for the one we have in place. Um, when we have our executive board meeting uh, this December, we're going to hash it out um, and decide what we want and then negotiate it. Uh, with the commissioner's office. Well, what would you suggest as a deterrent? Because this isn't a deterrent. Ryan Braun's getting $100 million and he'll be smiling in spring training. A-Rod is still going to get paid. He's gotten away with this, got paid. A lot of these guys, Melky Cabrera, and, you know, crime pays. Yeah, I'm not sure whether crime pays um, or whether I'm for more difficult suspensions. Um, but it really doesn't matter what I think. What matters is what the players think. And... Um, you know, we had our last real discussion about it in spring training. Um, there were a lot of players who were in favor of, you know, tougher penalties. There were a lot of play players who weren't. So we're just going to have to see. Yeah, but it comes down to this. If they really want to clean up baseball and everybody's angry about this, then there would be no objections to one strike, uh, 100 games, second strike, you're out of baseball. I think that they, if you don't have deterrence here, Michael, you know what? The, these guys, with the amount of money that's at stake, they're still going to continue to do this. And it reflects poorly on the Players Association. Well, there's an argument that deterrence doesn't come with penalties, but comes with you know convincing people that they're going to get caught. Um, and we did a lot of things to do that with HGH, with um, blood testing, and some other things. Um, but there's also an argument that you need to have sufficient penalties to deter. And we're just going to have to look at what the guys want um, come uh, this offseason. I, I will tell you, there is a substantial number of players who want to see um, enhanced penalties and who want to see exactly what you mentioned. The um, first one is 100, and the second one is you're out. What about voiding contracts? I'm not for voiding contracts, and the reason is this union has never been for changing con the terms of contracts, no matter what <clears throat> the um, offense was. Um, we've always felt that, you know, you can suspend the guy, you can do whatever you want, but his contract is sacred, and his contract has to stay the same. So, 
you know, I've been asked that question by a lot of players, and I've always given the answer. Um, you want to give tougher penalties. You want to do other things. That's fine. Don't start messing around with contracts. Michael Weiner, the uh, vice president, executive vice president of the Baseball Players Association, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. How much does it concern you? You're seeing a lot of these kids from the Dominican Republic uh, busted. It concerns us. Um, you know, we don't want to see that. Um, uh, but I got to tell you, from talking with a lot of um, experienced Dominican Venezuelan players, particularly Dominican players, they don't think these guys that are getting caught are victims. Um, they think these guys know exactly what they're doing. Of course. Um, and, you know, that changes things a little bit. But um, we're going to look into this because um, this is only one ring. Um, uh, but it's a little bit concerning that it's so Dominican, uh, so based on Dominican players. Do you think the commissioner tried to make an example or is trying to make an example of A-Rod? Um, I think he is. Um, I think he's um, sort of had it with A-Rod, um, and a little bit of that has shown so far. Um, but no question, 211 days will make an example of anybody. It seems like it's personal, Michael. Uh, I think there's an element of that. Not that much, um, necessarily, because, um, again, they, they lowered their... Their penalty, I would assume, because I know they were talking about um, as much as life. Um, but I think there's a personal element here, yes. Thank you for your time, Michael. Good luck with the challenge ahead. Thank you. Take care. Michael Weiner, Major League Baseball Executive Vice President.